Hello my beautiful caterpillars and today we are doing my project 10 pan 1 uh, project 10 pan uh, the first update of my project 10 pan now ignore the mess in the background over here um, my clothes in my closet and my food is all just like organized chaos over there so just ignore that but um yeah, so it's been a little bit over a month for this because when I filmed it, it was still back in December, but I tried to film it as close as possible to January as I could. So I started um, this one, I think I put January 5th was the day I started everything. And today, as I'm currently filming this, it is January 17th. So it's a little bit, a little bit over a month, but it counts. Because uh, <laughs> this is kind of going up when I filmed it, like when I posted it, so we'll just go by that and ignore my phone in the background. Hey, rude. Forgot to turn that off. Um, if it gets real annoying, I'll go and turn it off. But uh, yeah, just ignore the. Oh, you can see my laptop in the background. I'm just gonna just pretend you don't see him there. Everything's just organized chaos here today. So, um, getting into the things that I finished up first in the first update is very exciting the Kate Moss um, lipstick in 101 the f lasting finish by Rimmel Kate Moss thing it looks like this let's watch it if I can barely swatch it looks like that it's really pretty um, it's funny because when I started this let me bring up my paper we had can you see that line you see it there? Um, we had that much, and um, I finished it all in a month, and I I loved it, and I have another one because I love it so much. So I'm not sad to see this go, but this is my first lipstick I've ever actually finished up, so that's exciting! Yay! <laughs> um, that is actually the only thing I finished up. I almost thought I got it myself. Um, for this project, second thing that I need to tell you, the card candy concealer that I was using um, it's no longer in the project because halfway through during the month um, it started smelling really really bad and it had a really foul odor to it and it was really like liquidy and like watery it was a liquid cover uh, concealer but it was like watery and really liquidy like not how like a concealer should be and it stunk so bad I was like oh, I don't really want to put that on my face so it's kind of just been taken out of the project I threw it in the garbage I don't actually have it here to show you I thought I saved it but I did not I cannot find it so um it's no longer going to be in there but I um, have replaced it with the Maybelline New York um, concealer it'll just be a concealer I'll use it until whenever and I have no idea where it is because the bottle I can't see I don't really know but um yeah so we'll just use that in replacement of that concealer that's the only concealer I've been using right now since I threw the other one out because it smelled really bad so I was like I'm not putting that anywhere near my face so yes that is the only oh wait no I did finish something else the cover girl uh, my cover girl guy clean uh, normal skin pressed powder in ivory 105 I finished this as you can see the red mark that was for my project I want to um, finish up in 2016 and I finished it super excited um, I don't know if I'd repurchase this anytime meantime soon it was nice but it's the only powder I've ever used so I'm looking forward to actually using other powders besides this one because after I bought it I was like oh I want I want something different, so I'm super glad to see this go. But um, it may be purchased in the future. Who knows? The thing I will probably have up in um, done by either the end of this week or next week is not going to hang on for much longer. Is the Cashmere Glow by Bath and Body Works? We originally started. It was up here. Our project pan, our project I want to use up in 2015, 16 was there, as you can see the little markings, um, and we're about currently right here. So I have no fear that um, I will not be able to use this up because I spray this on myself 
20 times a day like I just want it gone so badly um so I'll like when I wake up in the morning I'll spray it on myself and then I come back from the bathroom and I'll spray it on myself again before I leave for class I'll spray it on myself and then every time I come in and out of my room I spray it on myself um just because I want it gone and yeah so I feel like in a month to make that much progress um that, that's pretty good and I'm quite satisfied and I don't think this will be hanging around for much longer because this is the only perfume I've been allowing myself to wear and I'm just so sick of it and I'm so happy to be getting rid of it soon almost and I have no fear by the next update it'll be done probably maybe by the time this even gets uploaded I might be done this hopefully hopefully fingers crossed it will not be here next month it'll be empty and I'll be super excited so yes because that means I can wear my my favorite perfume which is velvet sugar I have not been able to wear this in so long because I wanted to use up cashmere glow because it's not my favorite so I'm super excited to, to use this up I will not be using that one as much as I use this one but it worked really well to get rid of the perfume so I'm happy The next thing I have is, I will mark this later, is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. It's a face oil. We started here and now we're roughly about here. And I've used this almost every single day on my face after I'm done in my shower. Like I come, I come out, I'll like tone, like wash my face, scrub and everything, and then I'll put this on, followed by my um, eye cream and my moisturizer. So, yeah. And um, this may or may not be used by the end of the project. I just kind of wanted to use it more. That was my main goal. So I'm super excited that I am using it almost every single day. So yay. <laughs> Next thing we have is the Olay Eye Gel. And I don't know if you can see how well that is. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like dipped. We started up like here and there's a bit of a dip down here I don't know if you can see it because the thing is in the way probably not but there is um, a little bit of a dip in there so I don't really know how I'm gonna measure that because like one side is more dipped in than the other so yes but again this goal was just kind of use it more so I am I've been using it almost every single night that I remember which is like six out of seven days a week I remember to put this on my face it's like once in a blue moon or if I don't shower I don't put this on my face before I go to bed so yeah also the next thing we have in here is the Nivea moisturizing night care cream and I am about right there on it when we started I was about just up here just the top like just here and now I'm you can see the bottom within reason so I have a feeling I will be done this in a couple weeks probably by the next update I will have this hopefully done so yeah it's a nice face care um, I use it every night on my face it's nice moisturizer um, I may or may not repurchase it we'll see I don't know I have um, some other Nivea big tubs of Nivea moisturizers to go through before I actually go for a Pacific face a night care um, cream but if I miss it and I will definitely purchase it. But I really love Nivea face cream, so, uh, yeah. The next thing, I probably would have been done this, but I lost it for a while. And then um, it keeps falling off my my nightstand here, my little desk thing right beside my bed. Because I usually put it on while I'm sitting here. And um, I probably would have been done it, but I lost it a couple times. So, um, we're currently right here. That's the... Little nubbin. I don't know if you actually got to see it last time, but I did mark it. And we were originally right there. Do you see this? I don't even know if it's going to focus for you. But so we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, basically, once this gets to the point where it um, hurts and I can no longer really um, moisturize it easily without it hurting, my, hurting me, I will just throw away because I have other ones and I just wanted to get through this um, because I'm not a huge fan of the scent so yes that'll be a lot of excitement of this um, I'm a little worried about I don't think I will hit um, pan on 
like not pan but finish this it's southern berry nyc um yeah according to this thing i have not really even made anything of a dent and i have been wearing this when i can but i do find it's harder to wear um red lipstick i mean it's winter so it's a little bit easier but like during christmas time and stuff i was wearing a lot of red lipstick so um just to kind of wear this more would be or this more would be happy um it's a really pretty um berry shade but I don't know if I would repurchase it or not. I've got another red lipstick, and I don't wear red lipsticks very often. It's like a pinky, berry, reddish color. It's really pretty on the lips. Um, but I'm just kind of... Like, we do have some progress, because it used to be up to here when I would roll it down. And now roll it down to, like, right to that little nubbin. So, but according to the sheet of paper, no progress. So, it's a little depressing. But I did, um, I do try to wear it some days. I've... I've worn it a, a couple times, not like a crazy amount, um, because I was really working on this guy, but now that this guy's done, I try to wear this as much as I can, so, yeah. Currently not wearing either on my lips today, but uh, I wore red lipstick, like, all this weekend, so I'm like, oh, whatever. Blush from Avon, this pink blush from Avon, which I have no idea what color it is, um, we're not anywhere i was hoping we'd like maybe it hit pan by now but uh we haven't so oopsies just drop that um so yeah it's a really pretty blush but i've just had it since i was in grade eight oh, if you can see that maybe i'll try to get it more um since i was in like grade seven grade eight so i just kind of want to want to use it up or hit pan and then and then toss it so I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. And the final one, which I am super excited on the progress. We wanted to hit pan or finish the white one here. This one right here and this one are the three ones that I have. Three ones that I wanted to um, use up. So I've um, I've got like a really good indent here of the white I don't know how well this is gonna focus and really good indent of pink there's a lot of pan right here and these two are done they just have like some excess from like cast off from this one in there and then this one I've kind of got a dent in it I don't really plan on like I won't be upset if I don't use all that one because I only put it on like the corner here but every, I've not allowed myself to wear any other maybe one day I allowed myself once or twice have I allowed myself to wear a different color other than pink and I've, I'm wearing my eyes today see? but I have eyeliner on so it's like all smushed in together but I wear I put this on the cree I put this overall put this in like the corner or like halfway across my eye and then I put this in the corner and yeah that's kind of what, what I'm wearing but I will have probably be done either by the next update or the final I will have hit pan and be completely done with these shadows and I won't be too upset about this one because I can just use it with all my other pink shades so that's completely fine with me but um yeah that is my project 10 pan update and so far it's going quite well it's easier than I thought it was going to be I thought it was gonna be a lot harder because people were talking and they're like oh it's so hard to like stick to one shadow and I've just been I'm really good at like forcing myself I'm like this is the only one we can use those are the only colors we can use and I will be super excited when I can wear something other than pink <sighs> I mean I love pink but um it would be nice one day once in a while if I like give myself a cheat day every so often just to wear things that I actually like but um it's going so far so I'm quite happy with the progress. I'm going to go mark everything on where our progress is. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later. Goodbye, beautiful butterflies. Bye.